Today, we will paint a simple seascape with a simple boat. Before you begin painting, we need to prepare the canvas. Please follow the instructions. First, please spray the rear side of the canvas like you see us do in the video. It is very important to spray the canvas in order for it to stretch like a drum. The water makes the linen expand. The palette knife works better when it can bounce off the stretched canvas. If you feel the canvas is losing pressure and becomes looser, you need to spray again the rear side of the canvas. Next, please place the canvas on top of the little nails in the bottom support of the easel. Please make sure the canvas goes a little bit inside the nails. Then put the top support on top of the canvas in the middle like you see in the video. Please make sure the canvas goes a little bit in the nails. Now it is time to tighten the grip. Please take a look, I move the canvas and it's very firm inside the easel. We have the canvas ready and firm inside the easel. Now we can begin. First, we begin with the pencil outline. Please draw a straight line that will represent the horizon one-third from the bottom of the canvas. We will be using a canvas size 50 cm wide by 40 cm tall, or 20 inches wide by 16 inches tall. Please keep in mind that oil paint starts drying after 10 hours. This painting should be finished within one day. Our artist takes 35 minutes. Our artist appears to be working fast. You can watch this video as many times as you need. We recommend that you watch the video once without painting. Then you paint while having the video in front of you. You need to pause after every step and repeat the instructions yourself on the canvas. Then we will draw a small boat just below the line of the horizon. And outline a straight line for the reflection of the sail. Then you draw the mirror reflection of this shape below the boat. Then we draw a line about an inch from the top of the canvas. This line represents the changes in the tone. Then we draw the pole for the sails. We will start with the T5 larger palette knife. At first, we will go over the horizon line with just white. Please hold the palette knife in a horizontal position. You make movements of left to right and right to left. Please take more paint if necessary. This painting is mainly cold tones. We will be using mainly cerulean blue and white. After completing the horizon line, please hold the palette knife vertically and spread more wide above the line of the horizon. While you make the first layer, you need to spread the paint like butter on a piece of bread. You push the palette knife into the canvas. You make movements from left to right and right to left like you see in the video. For the following part, we will make a mix of cerulean blue with white. We will just take a little bit of cerulean blue, more white than cerulean blue. Please mix very well the paint with movements from side to side. We hold the palette knife horizontally with a 20 degree angle to towards the top. The movements are made from side to side. You push in the palette knife into the canvas while making the movements. Please try to put these blues in the same areas as you see in the video. You always clean the palette knife before taking new colors. Take a good amount of white and start filling the gaps between the blue outlined areas. We make vertical strokes by moving the palette knife from side to side. You need to push in the palette knife to spread well the painting. The first layer with the larger knife is all about covering areas and outlining the background color of each part of the canvas. 
take more white and keep applying paint. You can mix it with the blue that are already on the canvas. Please note how much movement we make without taking new paint. You spread the paint you already have. For the top part of the painting, we will take darker blues. Please mix cerulean blue with a little bit of white. You spread the paint until it runs out in two places. Please leave about an inch from the top left blank. If you feel that the canvas is not tight and the palette knife does not bounce back well, then it means that you need to spray the rear side of the canvas again with water. You do not need to remove the canvas, you go to the back of the canvas and spray it. After you covered some of the top with blue, please add a significant amount of white below it. All the strokes we make at the moment are with knife position vertically. Please always clean the palette knife. Now we need to add some minor contrast to the painting. We will make a mix of carmine with white. We take more white than carmine. We will use this color only in the top left corner of the canvas. Please hold the palette knife horizontally and make side to side movements. You need to let a little of the carmine mix with the blue already on the canvas for a smoother transition. You need to clean the palette knife as soon as you finish and take more color. Then after finishing the mix on the top side of the canvas, please take some white and add it. Please note how the artist is moving around some of the paint already on the canvas with a clean palette knife, in order to create the feel of the partly clouded sky. We cover empty spaces with the paint that we already have on the canvas. Please pay attention to the side-to-side -side movement of the palette knife. Whenever you want to cover larger spaces, you hold it less horizontally and more with an angle upwards, with a vertical position giving you the largest knife surface. As soon as we finish, we clean the palette knife and remove the excess paint from the edges of the canvas using the palette knife. You can use your finger or your tissue to clean the edges where the palette knife does not reach. Next, we take ultramarine and white. We mix them well together on the palette board. Then we add a little bit of cerulean blue to the same mix. Please pay attention to the color as it looks on the palette knife. Then we fill the top part of the painting, we cover the left blank spaces. Then we clean the palette knife, we always clean the palette knife with tissue. We keep filling empty spaces with the paint that we already have on the canvas. We leave the top right corner blank. For this space, we take cerulean blue and ultramarine. We mix them well together. Then we apply this mix on the top right corner of the canvas. Please note that we are covering spaces and allow the paint mix with the neighboring colors in order to get a smooth transition between the colors on the canvas. We clean the palette knife and take more from the cerulean blue and ultramarine mix and apply it on the top. Please always clean the palette knife. We take a little bit of carmine and apply it on the top right corner of the canvas. We allow the paint to mix with the existing colors. We always clean the palette knife after mixing colors on the canvas. We take a bit of cerulean blue and apply it next to the carmine. We mix it a little to create a smooth transition with the carmine in the top right corner of the canvas. Now we have finished the top background. We can start working on the details. Now it's time to move to the T1 smaller palette knife. The instructor in this video is skilled enough to not change knives. 
please change the palette knife to T1. We start with mixing white and cerulean blue. We hold the knife horizontally and add four traces in between the sky. Please always clean the palette knife. Now we add a little ultramarine and a little violet to the previously made mix. We have a darker color now. We add the mix in some top areas. We always mix with the neighboring colors a little. We integrate the darker colors with using the existing paint on the canvas. We clean the palette knife and finish by covering any left empty spaces. We use the existing paint on the canvas to cover leftover spaces. Now we remove the excess of paint from the edges of the canvas. We clean the palette knife, take white color, and start moving from bottom upwards. We are integrating colors that we already have on the canvas. We clean the palette knife constantly to avoid dirty colors. We add more white to the edges by holding the palette knife horizontally. We give shape and transition to the colors by constantly mixing them on the canvas. Please note how much movement is done without taking any paint at all. Please always clean the palette knife. Now we have the top part ready. We will move towards the bottom part of the canvas. We start with a clean palette knife. We take the darker mix of cerulean blue, ultramarine with a little bit of violet and white. We hold the palette knife horizontally and add a reference line for the horizon. The darker color will give enough contrast to separate the sky and water. We clean the palette knife when we are done with the horizon. Now, we mix cerulean blue with violet. We hold the palette knife vertically and cover the area on the left hand side of the reflection of the boat. We take white and cerulean blue. Then we integrate this color above the previous one. We allow the colors to mix in the borders. We are creating a background as a foundation of future work. We will take ultramarine and cover the bottom right corner white holding the palette knife vertically. We then take Prussian blue as the darker color on our palette board. We mix it with a little bit of cerulean and add it above the previous color. Then we take a little of Prussian blue and mix it with white and add it almost on top of the previous mix. Please always clean the palette knife. Now, we take cerulean blue and white. We mix into it a little bit of Prussian blue. We keep filling the bottom part of the canvas with holding the knife vertically. 
We add some Prussian blue to the mix to make it darker. We mix some of the paint already on the bottom of the canvas. We take a little of ultramarine and add it to colors on the canvas and mix them a little. We always clean the palette knife after mixing colors on the canvas or taking a new color. We leave the area of the boat reflection empty for now. We keep mixing the colors with holding the knife sideways on the bottom of the canvas. We move the knife always from side to side. The knife is being pushed a little into the canvas. To cover the boat reflection background, we take a little bit of cerulean blue and mix it with white. We make a very solid light blue mix. You have to mix the colors well on the palette board. You also do the mixing the moving the palette knife from side to side on the board. Please always clean the palette knife. We add a little bit of ultramarine on the bottom left corner of the canvas. We mix the ultramarine with the paint already on the canvas to make it appear darker. Then, we add a little of cerulean blue and clean the palette knife. We take white and add it to the existing mix of cerulean blue. Then we integrate this mix to the leftover empty space with vertical strokes. And with horizontal strokes mix the colors already on the canvas. We add more color with the previously made mix. We fill in all the little blank spaces with the paint we took and the paint existing on the canvas. We clean the palette knife and remove excess of paint from the edges of the canvas. Please put the T5 palette knife aside and take the T1 smaller knife. We will be detailing the sky. We make a mix of a lot of white and very little of carmine. Please mix well the colors on the board. We add this mix in the central top part of the painting. We clean the board from all the mixes by scraping the paint with a palette, then wiping the knife with the tissue. It is important to maintain a clean palette board and avoid a lot of mixes next to each other. It will help maintaining cleaner colors. Please always clean the palette knife. Now we work with a clean palette knife in the horizon line. We unite the colors already on the canvas and create a softer transition between the sky and the water. We move the palette knife horizontally from side to side. We take white and add it above the horizon. We add more texture and leave bigger strokes on the canvas. You take more paint on the knife to achieve that. We move upwards and mix with the blues that are located above the whites. When you finish, please clean the palette knife. We move almost in the entire sky by adding more white paint and horizontal strokes. 
Now you have more paint for the detailed texture. We take little Prussian blue and add marks on the top to give more contrast to the sky. Please always clean the palette knife. We mix little ultramarine and white to add to the top right corner of the painting. We always move the palette knife from side to side horizontally and mix the paints already on the canvas. We clean the palette knife and add a little bit of natural carmine on the top left corner of the painting. We clean the palette knife. We add a little bit of Prussian blue below the carmine, please leave some blue space between them. We always mix the colors on the canvas for the transitions. Now, we mix well white with cerulean blue. We add it between the carmine and the Prussian blue in the left top corner of the canvas. We clean the palette knife. We take violet mixed with white. We add the strokes in the central top part of the canvas. We mix the colors on the canvas and adjust color positions. You must clean the palette knife every time you mix some colors. It's very easy to get dirty colors, you need to watch out carefully. We mix a little bit of cerulean blue and white. We use this mix to give some light to the sky. Please pay attention to the movements of the palette knife. All movements are from side to side. We are integrating the last touches to the sky. Please watch how the artist accommodates the paint present on the canvas. Please always clean the palette knife. We take more of the mix of cerulean blue and white we already have. Please apply this paint in the top central part of the canvas. Please take a little of Prussian blue to add some contrast strokes in the top. Please always clean the palette knife. It's time to move to the bottom part of the painting. We add Prussian blue in the bottom right corner. We take more paint in order to add texture at the moment. We add cerulean blue with white towards the center top of the water. We take white and cerulean blue, make a new mix. Add a little bit more of cerulean blue to make the color darker. We add the color almost all around the water. Always with side to side movement. Always mixing colors on the canvas into the strokes. We put more white into the horizon line. Clean the palette knife every time you take more white. We make horizontal strokes that will resemble waves of the water from top towards the center of the water. When we are done, we clean the palette knife. Now, we start considering the space for our boat. You should be able to see the trace of the pencil drawing from behind the paint. 
This is the location where we will be painting our boat. Painting the boat is not easy. You are still in the initial stages of the course. If you cannot do the boat well, it's not a problem. You can even leave it out of the assignment if needed. We take a little bit of burnt sienna and mix it with a lot of white. You add with very light movements the paint from the left side. Then you add from the right side. Please do not worry if you get the shape wrong. You can adjust the shape with a clean palette knife by removing paint. We add some more shape to the paints we already have in the water. Please always clean the palette knife. We adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. We do this by removing excess paint from the side you need. Now we paint a small roof to the boat with white. We adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. We do this by removing excess paint from the side you need. We will paint a deck with a mix of red and carmine. We mix a little bit of carmine with red to add some more contrast to the boat. The strokes we make now are very soft. Now, we mix violet with burnt sienna for a darker shade. We add this line larger on the bottom part of the boat. We make very soft strokes while holding the palette knife horizontally. And little smaller on the top part of the boat. We adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. We do this by removing excess paint from the side you need. We make very soft strokes while holding the palette knife horizontally. We make a little adjustment to the boat with white. We adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. We do this by removing excess paint from the side you need. We paint a little cabin on the top with white. We engrave the shape with a clean palette knife after placing the paint. We add a little of white to the upper part of the boat. We make a mix of a little of Prussian blue and more white. And make some horizontal strokes just above the boat to highlight the horizon. We add a little of white to the upper part of the boat. Then we adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. You can remove excess of paint to get the shape you need and clean the palette knife for the next move to adjust another part. Then we add a little carmine on the top part of the boat to highlight its deck. Then we adjust the shape of the boat with a clean palette knife. We clean the palette knife and take white. We highlight the rest of the boat above the deck. Then we take excess of paint to correct the shape and clean the palette knife constantly. We add a little bit of our dark mix of burnt sienna with carmine. Then take white with a little bit of cerulean blue or just white and paint the reflections around the boat. The reflections are done with a soft touch. You need to hold the palette knife vertically. 
you need to take a significant amount of white. The paint touches the canvas without the knife pushing in. We keep adjusting the shape with a clean palette knife. We add some Prussian blue in a horizontal stroke right below the line of the horizon. We need to highlight this area. A little more adjustment to the shape of the boat. Please always clean the palette knife. Now it's time to paint the mast of the boat. We mix the colors ultramarine and burnt sienna. We will get a dark color resembling black but cleaner than black. You will need a considerable amount of this mix on the knife. To paint the mast we need to hold the palette knife vertically. The elbow must be locked. The movement comes from the shoulder. You move from top to bottom. The position the palette knife a little tilted to use less of its surface. You do not push the palette knife into the canvas, the touch is light and almost superficial. You move downwards with your shoulder slowly while moving the surface of the palette knife a little more to the left, until you use its entire width on the bottom. This way you make the mast appear thinner on top and wider on the bottom. You can adjust the shape of the mast with a clean palette knife by removing the excess paint from the sides. You can add more of the same mix to highlight the mast. Now we paint the ropes. For this you can change the palette knife for a larger one. You take more of the same mix on the side of the knife. We use the entire surface of the side of the palette knife. We basically engrave the shape with the side of the palette knife. We can adjust the shape with a clean palette knife. Please take the small palette knife. You need to take more of the dark mix. We add little highlights in the reflection of the boat and its shape. We paint a little dark reflection with the same mix of ultramarine and burnt sienna. We take more white for the reflection of the boat. Then we break some of the reflection lines with a clean palette knife. We add some more reflections with a little bit cerulean blue and mainly white. We hold the palette knife vertically. Now we will make the reflection of the mast with white. First we will give more shape to the water below the boat with a clean palette knife. Please always clean the palette knife. Please watch carefully the following adjustments of the reflections in the water. They are done with a little of white and with a clean palette knife. We then take some cerulean blue mixed with white and add some water shape below the horizon on the right side of the painting. We then mix some of the paints on the painting to make the water more dynamic. The stroke is always horizontal, moving from side to side. Please watch carefully the following adjustments of the reflections in the water. All of the adjustments now are done with a clean palette knife. We give some contrast to the bottom part of the boat with the dark mix of carmine and ultramarine. For the following strokes we use a mix of cerulean blue and white. We make an adjustment in the right side of the water and the horizon. Now we add the reflection of the sun. 
The sun is almost not visible in this painting. But we add a little reflection. You use white with vertical light strokes. We add a couple horizontal strokes with Prussian blue. We add a little bit of medium yellow to the mix of cerulean blue and white. The shade will change to a greenish tone. We add little bit of the green mix and add some strokes below the boat. The greenish tone will make the water appear more like real sea water color. We add some final touches to reflection of the boat with white. Then we take a little of red mixed with carmine. Now, we paint a little flag on the mast. We add a little bit of orange on top of the flag. We adjust the shape from the outside with a clean palette knife. We add a little bit of white to our dark mix of burnt sienna with ultramarine. Then we put our last details on the boat with horizontal and vertical light strokes. We use the side of the palette knife for these last detail strokes for the boat. We engrave little lines for the deck barrier. Please always clean the palette knife. We use the same dark mix to give a little contour to the front of the boat. The last part would be the highlight of the reflection of the mast with white. We use vertical light strokes with the knife tilted a little sideways to the right. We then add a little of white details to the water on the sides of the reflection of the mast. The painting now is ready. Please keep in mind this painting appears to be easy. We do not expect you to do it 100% accurately. If you feel like you need help during the process, please contact us. We can also schedule a video conference.